Hey everyone, how's it going? In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to draw King Kong, but instead of the King Kong from the Godzilla universe, I'm going to show you guys how to draw King Kong from the 2005 Peter Jackson movie. Now, we're just going to stick with the face on this one so we can do some cool details. So starting right up here, I want to make the eyes. So we're going to start with the eyebrows. So I'm going to start here, and I'm just going to make a line that's going to go down, and then I'm going to curve up and down like this. Make this a little taller. Then over here, I'm going to do the same thing. So I want to leave some space, draw a line that goes down. It's going to curve up and down like this. Now, right in here, I'm going to make a line that's going to curve up and it's going to come to here. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Just go down and then we're going to curve it around for the eye. Now, right here, I'm going to make a little line that curves over for some wrinkles. And I'm going to bring this one up and I'm going to just curve this one around to here. Now, starting here, we want to add the nose. So his nose is really close to the eye. So I'm going to draw a line that goes up. It's going to curve around and it's going to come down to here. Then I'm going to do the same thing here. Just kind of go up. It's going to curve around. And it's going to come down and then over to here. Now, right here, I'm going to make a line. that's going to curve over. It's going to come down almost like a V shape and go over like this. And then right here, I'm going to make a little line that goes down and then another one that goes down here. Then he's going to have a couple more little wrinkle lines inside of his nose. Next, right over here, we want to draw his mouth. So I'm going to make a line that's going to curve down to here. And then I'm going to draw a line that's going to curve out to here. Then I want to make a line that's going to go around and it's going to come down here and it's going to curve around for the mouth. Now, right inside of here, we want to draw one of those big fangs. So we're going to go down and it's going to come up. We're going to curve it around here. Then right here, I'm going to make a little line that goes up. It's going to go over and come back up for one of his teeth. I'm going to make another one that's going to go down and over, kind of curve around. He's got flat teeth in the front. I'm going to put another one right here. And then starting here, we're going to draw a line that goes down. I'm going to go up and come down to here. Then I'm going to put one more tooth that goes down and around. Then starting here, I'm going to make a line that's going to curve around. I'm going to make a line that goes up. It's going to come down and curve to here. We're going to put a few more teeth down here, so just a few little square shapes. And we're going to make another one of these kind of big bottom fang teeth. Then I'm going to draw a little line down. And I'm going to make another line down here. Inside of here, you want to draw a line that's going to curve around. It's going to come back by this tooth and then down to here for his tongue. And then a long little line down. You can also go and add a few more little teeth in the back here. And you can also do a few on this side as well. Now, I like to add a little line or two in here and then an extra line just to kind of show where it's going to be really dark and then it's going to slowly kind of change color. Now let's come back up here by the eyes. So I want to add some lines here. So I'm going to put one right there and then one underneath here for some wrinkles. And then another one or two over here as well. Then I'm going to add another line or two up here. 
And right over here, I'm going to draw a line. It's going to go out. I'm going to curve this up, and it's going to come down. I'm going to make another one that's just going to kind of go up and down, and then one more here. And we want to take one that kind of wraps around here. Now, starting here, I'm going to add just a couple little lines that are just going to be really furry and zigzaggy, and they're just going to come down here to kind of shape out his face. And I'm going to add these all the way down to here. It just kind of goes off the paper. Then I'm going to add some more all the way around here, and they're just going to kind of go all the way around. You just take them off the paper a little bit. And I'm going to come down here and I'm just going to make them kind of go back a little bit. Then I'm going to take this line and I'm going to just kind of bring it down to here for the face. Now right around here I'm going to draw a little line that's just going to curve around for some lips. And I'm going to add a little chin down and just some extra little lines around here for some details. I'm going to add some more little lines over here and I'm going to tuck an ear in over here. So we're just going to draw a little line that's going to curve. I'm going to add another little line right around it. Then I'm just going to take this and just kind of bring this line over here and then I'll just bring this line down here. Next I want to come in here and add some of the different details in here. So the first thing is let's work on the eyes. I'm going to add a little curved line inside each one. And right here I'm going to add a big curved line for the pupil. I'm going to add a small one in here, and then I'm just going to color this in for the pupil. I'm going to add a couple little lines underneath here. Then I'm going to add just some little wrinkle lines around here. I'm going to put a few more wrinkle lines right under here. Over here, I'm just going to add some little broken lines right around here. A couple little detail lines onto the teeth here. There's going to be lots of little kind of broken wrinkly lines all over here on the face just to show lots of texture and detail. Even some on the nose as well. Kind of add, make this a little bit darker right there. I'm going to add some details inside the ear. Add some more details on some of these bottom teeth and some of the top teeth as well. I'm going to bring some of these lines in and just add some little details around here. Then, just with all the fur, I like to come in here and just add some different little lines coming from both sides. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I like these lines to be curved different lengths and I want them to kind of mix together in here. And we're going to do some of that down here as well. And I'm going to just bring lots of these little lines all over the place in here. And this just kind of helps show where his fur is and where he's got a little bit more of like smoother skin over here. There's going to be a lot of these lines up here on the top. Going all over the place. And we're just going to put some of these kind of going all over here. I'm going to add some more of these coming down into here. And I'm just going to kind of keep adding some more of these all around here. And we'll add some up here on his shoulders as well. 
And we'll make a few more kind of coming off of here too. They can always kind of come in and add just a few extra little details wherever you want to on some different parts in here. But then there you go. This is your basic drawing of Kong from, or King Kong from the 2005 film. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.